Today's video is going to be about some abstract photography and in so doing I'm going to use oil. I'm going to put some oil drops in water. I'm going to put some food dye on the oil drops, use a macro lens and uh, take some photographs. They're pretty unique as you'll see and I'll show you the results as we go along. One correction I need to make, I filmed the part where I'm actually doing the oil drops photography and I mentioned that I was going to use virgin oil. That didn't work out so well so I went and used motor oil believe it or not and that worked out fine. So if you got nothing better to do you got a macro lens you're sitting around the house on a rainy day all you need is a glass of water some oil an eyedropper helps get those drops in there some dye and away you go take some photos and you'll have some unique, very unique photographs. Hope you enjoy this one and try it out. After going through a class by Lisa Landell, she talked about abstraction. I don't really shoot abstraction, but I'm always up for something new. So what I'm going to be using on this one, and I'll show you, this is the Nikon Z6 II with a Nikon 105 macro lens. And we'll start off by shooting some oil drops in a glass. We'll see how that comes out. I'll show you the photographs. I'll show you uh, the lens settings that I used. And hopefully we'll get some good results. Before I get too far into this thing, just a, a couple reminders. On this particular lens, I'm going to the smaller depth. And I'm making sure I turn my vibration off since it's on a tripod and I'm also going to be using a, uh, a cable release so I'm not going to be shaking the camera a lot because I imagine I'm going to have some shutter speeds that are really really slow and the less shake in the camera the better. All right we're going to try to do some oil drop photography what I'm going to use this is just a uh, printed piece of paper I'm going to put that down there we're going to use a glass. I'll fill that glass with cold water. I'm going to try some uh, some olive oil. We'll see how that works. If the olive oil doesn't work, I might have to go with a different oil. I'm also going to use, these are USB computer lights. And I'll show you how those are going to work. Later on, as we get into it, I'm going to put some food coloring on the oil and get some uh, uh, different colors on the oil with that. The USB, I hooked that up into a, for the power, into a laptop. Plug them in and you can see I've got a light. That light's kind of cool because I can direct the light in the cup at different areas where I want it. So there's the water and I've set up my lights. I might move those around as we take some photographs and I forgot to say that probably the most important thing you gotta have an eyedropper and I'll drop some oil in there and we'll take some photos. There's the oil drop. What I did is I put some um, orange dye on it. So let's photograph it see how she comes out. This one kind of looks like a universe. The two oil drops are trying to join into each other. So we'll take that photo, that could be cool. You can get all kinds of patterns as you add different oil drops and different color dyes. Here's some blue and red and orange all trying to combine. Interesting abstraction photographs. That's an interesting arrangement of oil and dye drops. I like how that white swirls around the oil drops. 
makes an interesting look, almost like a universe. Try a different oil configuration. See what kind of picture we get out of that. They're kind of joining together. Looks like amoebas. I'm using two of those USB lights. I've got one here, got the other one there. And by moving them around, you'll get different aspects of your oil drops. They're just small oil drops, but with the 105 macro lens, it'll show you some really cool images. Well, that's how I do oil drops. You never know what's going to happen because you don't have much control of where the oil drop's going to go or if it joins into each other. What you can control, though, are the lights. You can light them up in different areas, highlight things. This is probably the best buy going. They're under 20 bucks and fun to play with.